Hi, hello. Are you excited to know what I thought about ABCD2? Uh, anybody can dance too. That's what ABCD means. Apparently. Apparently. Sorry guys, I'm a little stumbling on my words. But if you're new to my channel, do me a favor and press that subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel. Ring the notification bell. And we're going to talk about this awesome, awesome movie. That's right. So I'm going to just say thank you guys for recommending this movie for me because... I really love rom-coms and I feel that Disney does just the the best the best job with rom-coms. Also dance movies. Growing up being a dancer, I can really relate to to the dance drama within the movie. And guys, I'm sorry if you haven't watched the movie, we're going to give you some spoilers right now because the majority of people who told me to react to it actually have seen the movie. So yeah, and I just have some juicy, juicy details about the Kings, guys, all right? I have been obsessed with them since they won, well, since I first saw them perform on Jennifer Lopez's show. Very, very, very cool. And it's just, it's, it's, it's amazing, because, I mean, not only do they get to hang out with J-Lo, which I think she's awesome, but it's, they're the best dancers of the world. They won World of Dance. Like, it's just, it's so cool. So cool. Anyway, guys, so this movie, apparently, according to you guys out there, is based on the Kings and V Company. Is this, is this the truth? Is this, is this, and let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong, if I'm messing this up. And also, guys, if there's any Wikipedia links or easy things where I can read about this so I can actually understand what's true, which, which, what is true, what's the true story, what really happened here and what's movie magic because a lot of people said there in, in real life there was no girl character um in this and some of the guys on the team look like they're actually from the kings which is really cool because they got a chance to star in a disney movie so hopefully they got paid a lot of money i don't know i'm not sure but yeah it was so good so guys who haven't watched the movie who want a, a brief rundown and you can also see it I think I watched it. I watched it on Netflix, which was really cool. And I kind of, so I had a lot of work to do yesterday. And I thought, oh, I'll just put a lot of times I'll just put movies on and I'll put them and I'll still be able to work. Well, because it was all in another language and they didn't have, it was in Hindi. I couldn't, they didn't, they had subtitles, but they didn't have, you know, sometimes you can watch like TV shows or whatever there that are in other languages. And that has the person dubbing them, it wasn't dubbed. So I had to actually sit there and read the subtitles, which was good because I also, and, and, and also the dancing, you could, you, I couldn't stop dancing. So if you guys, if you guys are like me and like to be on your computer or, or I, I, oh, for some reason I always work in front of my TV and I'll just go through shows working on my computer, but I couldn't do that watching this movie because I had to read the subtitles. And I had to watch, I couldn't stop watching the dancing. And I, I honestly, guys, I, I had to rewind and go back and keep watching more. Like, that I, I wanted to see the dance again. Because the dancing was so, so good. But to give you all a rundown of what happened, for those of you who don't know what happened, it, it, it made me understand so much of why a lot of Filipinos love the kings. They love the kings. Because I was reading the comments of all these dance groups and, and Filipinos love 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 the king so what happens in the movie and i don't know guys let me know if this is real or not or if this is movie magic because i got i got so into it um the king that the kings they were called something else and but it was the star the star him wait i can't my my fingers getting the the guy with the red shirt so he was in a dance group and they copied the choreography of a very famous filipino group and they didn't think anyone would notice and they did the dance in some competition and the judges noticed and basically shamed them but what was crazy and what gave me chills see i have chills now my house is my house is hot but just talking about this gives me chills because guys i grew up in the dance world my parents own dance schools so and there's crazy drama that goes on all day my parents dance school is called american dance and drama and i mean I've seen, I've seen things. I've seen mothers fight with other mothers, fight with students, get, I've seen cops called during these competitions. Me, myself, I've gotten my clothes stolen. Stuff like that happens all the time as a dancer. 
And it kind of, it reminded me, it kind of, you know, you know, you watch something and you feel like you went back in time. It reminded me how things are. And basically, I felt so bad for this crew because when they went back home or when they went back to their normal lives after the big competition, everybody was just calling them cheaters. And it was almost, and I don't know if this is how dance is in India. It's almost as if they're famous basketball players or football players where everybody knows them and everybody was even uh, the guy in the middle. I think it was him. I think it was his character between the girl and the guy. He was a pizza delivery guy. And some guy was said, I'm not going to pay you because you're a cheater. And it was just I felt so bad for him. So, guys, in the dance world, you can't steal other people's steps. It's a huge, huge no, no. I remember my my dad, who is a dancer and a choreographer, he would always tell me how oh, this person's using my steps and that person's using my steps. And I would just look at him and think, okay, you're crazy. Like it's, you know, as everyone's steps can use, but people take it really seriously. So they got in trouble because somebody used their steps or they, they used, they, they used a Filipino dance step. That's what happened. All right. I'm kind of, I have to, I have to cut in and, and it's just, I, that's a huge part of the storyline guys. And they're all depressed and they get disqualified from this major competition and they're embarrassed and they're shamed. They're, they're shamed their country. And apparently his mom was a dancer and she, they just did this whole, it was very dramatic. And then he does this very dramatic dance and it's a beautiful dance about being like, he's so upset. And oh my goodness, guys. And let me know, do all Indian men have like 12 packs? Is that a thing that, that all Indian men are super shape and super like super fit do, is it something that you eat? I don't know, but these these this these guys in the movie they had these amazing bodies. I don't. I just all of them, every single one except there was one dancer that was kind of big in the restaurant scene. Okay, so then after that scene where he's all upset, there's this big restaurant scene and this famous choreographer is there and he does this dance, this crazy dance with the whole group to get a, to get free alcohol, which is interesting. And then he sees he sees this choreographer, uh, the main guy in the red shirt, sees this choreographer and decides, I am going to get him. There's a hip hop competition that's going to Vegas and and New and not New York in in America, and and we're gonna get to America. I don't know where uh, A B C D is located. So it was very emotional, guys. It was super 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 emotional. And I kind of I was just like this the whole time, crying. So thank God, and I know, uh, I, for some reason, I'm a girl, guys, I don't know, I get very emotional, and things just make me cry. I don't know why they make me cry, I'll just be sitting there, and I just start crying, and I'm like, why am I crying right now? Anyway, so, so, they were, they were, um, I lost my train of thought. I lost it. Anyway, so, they had to convince this dancer, this amazing choreographer, to be, their coach and they go to his house and he has vegas all mapped out like some kind of weird you know homicide case you know how like the the detectives have have stuff map, mapped out with little strings and and lines that go everywhere that's how the choreographer he's been studying vegas and he's wanted india to win the vegas competition and for those of you who are not dancers competition is a very very serious thing people prepare years and months and they are super super expensive and that's one of the reasons i tell my parents i'm like why do you do they they do dance competitions i'm like why do you do dance competitions because they're so expensive so everybody has to 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 you know raise money to go to these competitions but it's amazing because you know kids like competition and then they say that competition helps you become better i don't know i i, I guess it's a good way to to practice your life or whatnot but anyway anyway <laughs> anyway so after all of this happens right we go back to we we go back to the 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 guy finally saying okay i will train you you have to go you have to go to the qualifiers and i think the qualifiers was in mumbai and he says okay let's all go to the qualifiers and if you make the qualifiers somebody has to sponsor you to go to america and that's very very expensive guys i think it was like twenty-five thousand rupees or something which alexa how much is twenty-five thousand rupees in dollars 25 000 indian rupees is 
60 US dollars and 86 cents. Did that answer your question? Alexa, how much is 25,000 rupees? Alexa, how much is 25,000 rupees converted to dollars? 25,000 Indian rupees. Oh, I said that already. No, 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 no. <sighs> anyway, guys, you get the picture. So I don't under I don't know how many US dollars it was. Let me know in the comments below because it takes too long to talk to Alexa about it. But it was very exciting. I'm so excited about this movie. So this is <laughs> I'm going through it bit by bit. So sorry sorry if um i'm taking too long but thank you so much for recommending it because i love dance movies they're my favorite movies to watch one of my one of the girls that i went to high school with we were in dance class together she actually was in one of the step up movies and i remember growing up watching the step up movies and i was so i was like oh my god we danced together and she was she was in the movie so that was cool and i always wanted to be in one of these dance movies so I was a little envious of the dancers, especially I think Lauren, what's her name is in it? Lauren, um, God, what's her name? She's a dancer, but she's beautiful. She's so, so pretty. Anyway, that comes later in the movie. All right. So I'm going through the beginning to the end. So they go to the Mumbai dance competition and they don't want to let them perform. They go, you are cheaters. And they're like, please give us another chance, please. And they said, no. Get out, you're cheaters or something. I don't I don't know. So then everyone performs and there's a final and then the 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 choreographer gets on stage and he's and he makes a plea pleads. He says, Please give these guys a chance and they give them a chance and they just wow the audience and that's where they do that historic dance number that I had reacted to and honestly I wish I would have watched this movie before I reacted to it cuz now I understand so much more of what it, what what it meant and why it was so cool and and honestly the fact that he did the flip up in the air and he kicked the the sprinkler off I think that was a mistake I guess in, but but it, they wrote it to be a mistake I don't know it was very intense very 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 intense Scene, but of course they they won and they were the they they qualified to to go to vegas which was amazing and they were so excited to to go to vegas but then guy in the red shirt i'm sorry i'm so bad with names so i would i have to go back he went back to um the restaurant he worked at because the owner said hey i will give you i will sponsor you and when he went back there, the guy said, wait, that's a lot of money. I can't afford, I can't afford that. Sorry. People break promises. I hate that, guys. Don't you hate when people break promises? Because everyone was so excited that, that he was going to be able to do that. So he said no. They, got, they ended up getting in a fight because the guy, like, insulted his girlfriend, which is, well, well they weren't girl, they, they weren't boyfriend and girlfriend yet, but... There's definitely a lot of chemistry going on between the two, the guy and the girl up there. So the guy, they, they insulted, so they insulted her and she's so pretty. I like her so much. And she, you know what she, she has about her? She has this amazing vulnerability about herself and she just seems like genuinely, she seems like a really good person, this girl or actress. She just seems really nice. Like, I think I would be friends with her for sure. Like we would get, we would get along because she's just a super, a super sweetheart. Anyway, so then they're they're stuck and they don't know they don't know what to do. Hold on. All right. So they are stuck, right? And basically they have no money now to go to Vegas and the coach choreographer is really upset. All the teammates are angry at the guy. Everyone's everyone's mad. There's drama. Oh my goodness, guys. But I forgot to tell you about the forming of the team. The forming of the team. Guys, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm learning how to be a better storyteller. The forming of this team was so good. You have no idea. And it just... Because they, they, they lost a lot of their original members because of the whole cheating scandal. So they had to do an audition and they put an audition out on Facebook and it was just so cool. And then they got the 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 guy who does all like the robotic stuff and i i seen him i think it's the same guy that's in the performances all the all the that's in the kings and then they also got um they got this guy who was deaf and mute and I, guys is he a real is he in real life and he was an amazing dancer but also he gets very sick throughout the movie and it's very it's very heartbreaking Every time he got a, a nosebleed, I started crying. I was just like, no, I hope you're okay. 
so yeah so that was that was that and um guys i'm sorry i just really love the movie i'm just explaining every little i'm literally explaining every little detail of the movie all right fast forward one of the men one of the members ends up selling his share and his family they had this beautiful most the most beautiful dock on the water that they used to rehearse and practice at and i guess the one of the dancers was owners with his uncle and he sold his share to get money from his uncle to go to america and i just thought that was so sweet and so beautiful and i don't know is this a true story is that fact or was that movie making there's so many parts of this movie that i was wondering is this true or is this movie making because whichever it is it's brilliant and it's beautiful and it just made me cry and I was when it happened and I just wondered, I thought, oh, after this all, did he get his his beautiful, it was the most beautiful land. It was this, it, just the dock with water. I love, ooh, I love water. And it just was, I was so, anyway. <laughs> so anyway, they all are happy and they're going to America. Yay. And then there's this awesome montage. They go to America of them at the airport and dealing with airport security and all the stuff that you have to deal with where they're going through your bags and having you take off your shoes and jackets and, you know, just, you know, searching you. That happens. It does happen in America. And I don't know if any of you guys are not in America. That is something that definitely, definitely happens. Airport security is intense. Even I have gotten strips, not strip searched, but, you know, when you go through the family friendly we are a family friendly channel when you go through the metal detector and they like they're like okay we're gonna have to pad you up do you want to do it and they always say you're gonna have to like uh i guess like search i forget how they say it and they're like do you want to go in a room or do you want to do it in front of everyone and i always say i want to do it in front of everyone because i think if i get go in a room i don't know what this person's gonna gonna be doing with me i might as well just get felt up in front of the world to see because i you know at least at least i'll have some witnesses around i guess that's what i think i don't know so anyway so they do this they they do this they'll stop they'll just count people too because they they can't be discriminatory i'm, I'm i just totally went off off of the movie guys this didn't happen in the movie but but they'll they, they will like like literally like just grab all of your areas like just making sure and i'm just like really do you really think i could hide anything like you know it's just uh, anyway, all right, so, <laughs> so they get to America after the crazy airport or ordeal where they actually take the mute guy's medicine, which was really sad, and I thought, oh my goodness, why would they take his medicine? He's, you know, it's just awful. They're like, you don't have a prescription for this, which is, I guess what happens. It's just very stressful. Anyway, so they get to, they get to their hotel in Vegas and it's gorgeous and that's honestly what every single hotel in Vegas looks like it just looks like a huge mansion like huge penthouse that is just the most amazing thing you've ever seen in your entire life they're just like beautiful 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 hotels in Vegas and they have this montage of them playing with lightsabers and that's honestly if 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 I was a foreigner and I came to America for the first time that's what Hollywood Boulevard is like there's all these um just people selling souvenirs and i don't know what cities are like in other countries or which countries you guys are from i mean i've been to i've been to a lot i've been to like portugal and amsterdam and london i know there are certain areas that are that are touristy and this is how vegas is where they'll sell little memorabilia things so everyone was playing with lightsabers and they were on a big tour bus and it's just you know that's what you do when you travel but it was really funny i was watching the movie and you could see there was two cop cars following the tour bus which is really funny because probably they were really shooting this i don't know if they were really shooting in vegas but they were probably protecting the tour bus and the, the actors on there so i thought that was that was some movie making magic that i saw but anyway guys oh my god this movie's so 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 good and i'm sorry guys even though i'm giving you all these spoilers i'm not going to tell you about the amazing romance that goes on between these two so you have to watch that and the gorgeous girl she's amazingly beautiful that almost comes in between them not this guy but somebody else really and and that that really helped drive it but my favorite favorite part of the movie all-time favorite i have to say and i'm gonna have to wrap this up because now i'm talking about this movie it was a i, I think it was a two-hour movie so the fact that i'm talking about it for a long time means that i really liked it 
Uh, my, but my favorite, I, my favorite part, the favorite part besides their big ending dance, which I loved. I loved, I loved. And you guys are going to have to watch that because I'm not going to give that one away because you guys, you, you have to watch the movie if you haven't seen it. But, but yeah. So my favorite part is when the choreographer disappears and everyone thinks, where did he go? Where did he go? Because he took the money with him and they're all wondering where this guy went. And it turns out he drove to meet his family. He apparently had a family in America and a kid there and he wanted to meet the kid and it was really sad. I just cried my eyes out because his baby mama said she was just saying, oh, I have a new husband and he takes care of his son. And it's so weird how things are, are translating. It was like dirty. She called him a dirty choreographer. <laughs> like it was translated in, Amer in, in English as dirty, like his job was dirty just being a choreographer so um and it just it just my dad's a choreographer so it just it just it just it hit me I was like oh my god this woman's really judging him you know and it made me feel bad which I understand like it's hard being a single mom it's really hard and if he left her that that's you know I don't know I I, I wouldn't know how to think about that but I just felt like he you know saved all this money and he came to America to be with his family and she just was nope I gotta replace him she was already but what was really amazing and it made me cry so hard when her kid, so her kid or her, his son came inside and was and he knew him. He said, oh, are you this? And I saw you guys win and will India win? And I just I started crying right there. I was like, this is so good. And I was just crying, crying. And my friends came in the room because they heard me crying because I was just sobbing at this point. And I was just like, it's so special. Look at when it was so then. The little boy saw him and he was like, I, I, can I, can I take a picture with you? My friends will never believe I met you. And I just thought, oh my goodness, that is the sweetest thing ever. I was just crying hysterically. It was just that moment of, yes. Anyway, there's draw. There's a lot more drama that happens, guys. I have to wrap this up. She gets injured. What's going to happen? And one thing the choreographer said that makes a lot of sense when you're having a competition or a big performance, don't practice too much because when you're tired, that's when you get injured. And that is so, so true. That's I had a that happened to me when I was 12. I had a I had a my, it was my first solo year of solo. So I was practicing every single day to get my aerials, which are no handed cartwheels down. And I practiced so, so hard that I fell the wrong way on my ankle and I broke it in three places two weeks before my performance. And it was just so heartbreaking that I did this to myself. And she has a similar thing happen, but you guys have to watch it. And you have to wait to see the, the most amazing uh, girl that comes in. And does will their love last? Let me know in the comments below. But you guys know. And then the end of the movie. Now I can understand because I got so many people commenting because I watched... Um, I watched their dance video where the, the winning dance, the video, not winning because they, they don't, they don't end up winning in this, but you'll see they, they get, they get up there. You got to watch the movie to see guys. It's so good. So if you haven't watched ABCD two, I highly recommend it. And it's also on Netflix for free. If you guys have Netflix or, you know, you pay your monthly Netflix fee. I love Netflix. I wish I could get sponsored by them. That would be so cool. Cause I watch, I really do. I said, I love binge watching guys. I don't know about you, but I love to, sit through and watch all different TV shows and whatnot. But anyway, let me, let me keep wrapping this up. I could just hang out and talk to you guys all night. And I don't know if anyone's still watching this or they're just going to be saying this video is too long or you talk too much or you don't know what you're saying or you can't even read subtitles. I get some weird comments, guys. Some people leave me the weirdest comments. It's just anyway. Anyway, so that final dance number, now I know why, because so many people were saying, Lauren, you only reacted to four minutes, the four minute video, you have to react to the seven minute video. And I didn't know why. And why is because it's so emotional and so dramaful. And oh my God, I just sat there crying and it's the most beautiful. And I understand it's some, you understand the, the meaning behind the song so much more that I watched the whole movie. That's what sucks about just reacting from scenes from different movies because it's the context of it. I'm missing so much context that, that I feel like I need to go back and react to the, to the scenes again. Cause I kind of feel dumb. It's like when I reacted to that anyway movie and I thought he was talking to his parent, 
not movie the rap song i thought he was talking about his parents and he was talking about like raptor and what's that guy's name um the other guy that he mc cavino no no is that his name i don't know there's so many different freaking that's maybe a brazilian rapper i have no idea oh i'm getting mixed up now so anyway so there's this huge emmy way did i say emmy way <laughs> there's this huge thing at the end that happens where they do they do the they do this huge um pyramid one of their pyramids and one of the guys gets sick and he's trying it was just so it just, i just i bawled i cried i laughed I had a beautiful ending a beautiful meaning i was so nervous what happened to the guy who got sick is he a real person let me know in the comments below i want to learn more about the kings though and after the movie after like just sitting there crying and laughing and loving the movie I went on Instagram and I DM'd the Kings because I was just like, I want to meet you so bad. And I was just, I kind of like fangirled them. And I said, I love you guys so much. And they wrote me back. They wrote me back and I was so excited. They wrote me back and they're like, we love you too. And I was like, when are you coming to LA? And they said on the 24th. So I hope, I, I want to try to sign up for their dance. I asked them if they would be on my podcast and they, they didn't respond. So I got I got a little bit of attention. They must be so busy though, and I can't imagine after winning World of Dance. I don't know even have they been home for any. How long have they been home? They've been, have they just been literally touring the world after World of Dance? I'm so happy for them because watching this movie, I can understand it more of what what it's like to to really just you know it's it's hard. It's honestly hard as 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 a performer in America. It definitely is too. It's not just. A lot of people are like, oh, well, you live in America. It's just how, if you want to do anything in the showbiz kind of lifestyle world, you're going to be hustling and working your whole life. It's just, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of hard work. And um, I can't even imagine doing it in another country that, that, that it's, it might, it's even harder to probably to do it in India. Cause you have to also, you have to be working. You have to figure out ways to make money or have money, or you have to get sponsors and, just yeah it's a lot of um it's a lot of praying and and one thing that i do love about the kings and i love about this movie is that all of the dance numbers had a lot of spirituality in them and it just they're so so beautiful and it just has a a higher meaning to it and it's just it was a beautiful movie so once again guys thank you so much for asking me to react to it i don't want to I, I can't have this video go on forever so i have to end it now but thank you thank you thank you guys and i will be back tomorrow sorry we didn't re actually react to a video and i'm just giving you this awesome review of the movie but i sat down and i watched the movie it was so good and thank you guys i have to watch um uh kabar sing now uh, is that how I say it? I don't know. I'm really bad. I, I, I'm bad at pronouncing. I, I need to learn Hindi so I can can be in these movies. I want to be in. There are so many Americans in this ABCD two movie. It was. I was just thinking, where do they? Where are they? Are they in, actually in India already when they're getting cast? How can I get cast in an Indian movie, guys? I'm gonna put that into the universe and hopefully you can you can <laughs> help me get there too. Anyway, guys, I love you so much. I love this movie. Please like this video. Make sure you subscribe. Ring my notification bell. And I will see you tomorrow because I'm just talking too much now. All right. Love you. Bye.